So Christmas is over and I know many of you are happy because of that. I am because I'm not a big fan of Christmas. I'm not a big fan of any holiday seasons. I just love my regular day. So I don't like the pressure that everyone puts on Christmas. And there is still New Year's Eve, but I think Christmas is a bigger thing than New Year's Eve, at least here. So I'm happy that it's over and I hope you enjoyed it uh, for everyone who didn't and felt overwhelmed. I hope you have some time to recharge right now. And in this episode, I just want to share my goals for 2024. And I want to take a look at my last year, 2023, and what things I will change for the next year. So I always love to take a look at the end of the year about what I would change. Uh, are there any things that I maybe bit but i don't want to do anymore things that are not serving me anymore so yeah 2023 was um was a hard year for me to be honest because it was a year where i dealt with some new symptoms something i never experienced before and this was panic attacks in january in 2023 my year started with panic attacks, which I never had before. I felt some anxiety before, but not panic attacks. So this was very hard at the beginning because um, it felt like there was no way out. I didn't know how to get past it. And over time I learned to do this, but I just realized I learned a lot from it because Sometimes I just pushed myself way too hard, um, not setting boundaries, not taking enough breaks, um, always like rushing or yeah, just, just being busy. And this, I think it's just needed to happen. That's what I believe. Um, so I could learn to take a step back that I was forced to take a step back and uh, this helped me to realize that it's okay to slow down that it's okay to take breaks that it's way better to take breaks so this is what i learned this was my biggest lesson in 2023 to yeah to take a step back to not always focus on new treatments doing as much as i can um, never taking a pause because it, when i took a pause it felt like I was not moving forward, but I realized sometimes taking a pause is the only thing you need to move forward. And I didn't realize this before this year. Um, so in 2024, my focus is to not focus that much on treatments because I already tried so many things, <laughs> but there are, there are only two things that I will focus on. And these are the intervals and the cognitive exercises. And besides that, I just don't want to focus that much on trying new things. I want to focus on something else. I want to focus on creating an environment that really supports my health. So this means I don't want to live in a city anymore. I live in Antwerp right now with my boyfriend, but we want to live in a more quiet area with more nature. We are done with the hustle and the bustle of the city. So we are moving away. So this will be our goal in 2024, finding a place with uh, a lovely gardens, um, more, yeah, more a place that is where it's warmer because I don't like the cold season in, in the Netherlands or in Belgium. And yeah, it's just like a dark period. It's so cold. I hate the cold. <laughs> so I'm feeling so much better when the sun is out. So we are trying to find a place with more nature, uh, a lovely garden uh, where the sun is shining, um, where, where life is more outside than inside the house and where it's not too busy. And preferably where there is a beach as well, because I just love the beach. Um, so this is my goal to focus on something like an environment that supports my health and not creating more situations of stress. Um, last year, I focused on therapy, I focused on things to work on nutrition, supplements, and I just realized that I ended up in this circle of doing too many things, um, which resulted in just doing them not fully for the 100%, but just a bit. And yeah, I just felt overwhelmed by doing too much. So 
I just want to let go of all of that and just focus on, hey, what is making me happy? What changes can I make in my life that makes me feel better? Because I believe when you do that, you will recover as well because it will be so supportive for your health when you are in a situation or an area or, or, or where your home is more in a quiet place, if you prefer that. I really believe that it supports your health as well. Um, and not pushing yourself is also very helpful. So I always had like very big goals. Like I need to, to create a bigger community. I need to, to help as many people as possible. And of course, I still have these goals. But I want to take care of myself a little bit better too. Because I also realized when... I'm not taking care of myself, then I can't take care of anyone else. If I'm not feeling energized, if I'm not feeling well, it's hard to help others. So 2024 is all about changing my environment, taking more breaks, thinking about my putting my health first, um, and then as a result, helping others. So that's what I will focus on. And that's also why I changed um, some of my, uh, my programs. So my program is now more focused on helping uh, maybe less people, but helping them even better. Because uh, first I focused on trying to reach as many people as possible. And now I try to help the people uh, that I can help the best way possible. I think that's uh, the quality, not uh, trying to reach as much, many people as possible. I still do on the Instagram and everything, but my main goal is to help a person the best way I can. And I can only do that by, yeah, just taking care of myself first. Um, so yeah, so new changes will, will be there in 2024 and I'm very looking forward to it. I can't wait to move to, yeah, to another country. We still don't know yet what country this will be. Maybe South of Europe, maybe Indonesia, because this still, still my heart. I don't know yet. Um, but let's see, I don't want to make a plan. Let's trust the journey. And I have faith that I will end up at a place that I can call my home and where I'm very happy. So I'm curious about your goals as well. Uh, share them with me on Instagram and yeah, we'd love to hear about them. I'm wishing you a, all the best for 2024. For everyone who is celebrating New Year's Eve, enjoy your time. For everyone who is taking care of themselves and just go to bed early. I think that's what I will do. I'm not sure yet. Um, then have a good sleep and, uh, and I hope 2024 for will be your year as well thank you for listening to my podcast i really hope this was helpful for you if it was and if you're listening on spotify apple podcast or youtube would you maybe do one small thing in return leave a short review or thumbs up on youtube the more reviews this podcast will get the easier it is for other people to find this podcast and to feel less alone and lost in their journey. Oh, and one last thing. I would love it if you share a helpful episode on Instagram, in a post or in a story and tag the concussion community in it. Or you can always send me a direct message. I love to see who is listening. Thank you so much and I hope to see you next time.